Yeah, so one of us got a weed stuck in our exhaust pipe, I think. Don't let me light a fire off here. Nah, not it's okay. Totally. Gonna make it look easy on the classic Yammer, huh? Okay, here we are, just above Perry Canyon, Utah. And this was the crux for sure that I had questioned on our decision to come up here. We came from six miles, six or eight miles over that way above Brigham City, rode the Brigham face across. So here, we're trying to descend down through this and it's soft and it is about as steep as it gets. Here's level. That's level. And that is up. Oh man, this is this is a doozy. This this is a doozy. I'm not sure we're gonna do this. We've decided we're gonna give this a shot. Michael's gonna go first. We're gonna try a new technique of descending steep steeps and see how that goes. If it works out good for him, then I will try it. If it doesn't, well, I guess we're gonna part ways. Because <laughs> gravity's gonna have him at the bottom of this mountain, and I'm gonna go the other way. I don't know, we'll see, but we're gonna give it a shot, hoping for the best. All right, Michael, what are you thinking about this? Um, okay, well, we assessed it, and uh, it's steep as <laughs> It's really steep. It's steep as shit, huh? Yeah, it's pretty And steep. it's loose. It's very loose. It's dirt and gravel, but mostly loose dirt. It is. So, so tell us about the technique you're gonna try. So, the technique is um, to, um, to keep our speed really low we're gonna leave the engine off and we're going to use the clutch and both front and rear brake um, we'll basically just let the the engine or the bike brake us all the way down and probably duck walk with one foot um, if our speed gets a little too fast for us uh, as soon as we feel it start to slip away I'm just gonna lay it down on uh, on the bars so. okay sounds good and I'm gonna assist by being nearby to lend a hand basically to shove you over no yeah but uh <laughs> give me a kick but uh <laughs> somewhat to be nearby to kind of help with a little buddy assist if needs yeah. be but uh just in case but uh, i think we should be all right um it's it's really steep though so the, that, big, the biggest little, there's some nervousness because i've never gone down anything this steep before and this loose but uh you know and let's be honest the biggest challenge here is the consequences if you know, if there's a worst case scenario, then whichever one of our bikes is just cartwheeling to the bottom and it ruins our whole day. That's not gonna happen. But I think we'll be all right on this. Not gonna happen. Jeez, gotta get that COVID out. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Rona. <laughs> all right, man, here we go. We're gonna do this. Yeah. It's gonna be sweet. Wow. How's that front brake working? I'm not to the steep part yet. Yeah, I know. Look, that's half as steep as what we're about to try to drop. What do you think now?
Well, you're almost to the point of no return. I almost wonder if I should put it in a low suspension. So. Dude, you're almost to the point of no return. You're pretty much to the point of no return. Are you committed or what? I don't know. Well, you better quit going because you're running out of your option here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to bail on that damn thing. There's a lot of bailing these days, but you know what? First year bike rider, so here we go. Like a boss. It's freaking awesome. Sweet. Nice work, Michael. Like I said, a lot of bailing on these last few rides I've been out, particularly over there in Colorado's big, big mountain passes. But you know what? You don't get as old as I am, 40 years old and 50 some odd years old without developing some sort of a sense of uh, risk, risk assessment and risk management. And in this instance, Based on our experience, it's just a little too risky. It's just a little, just a little bit too much. So I hate to keep bailing on all these rides on you guys, but I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let my film, my freaking YouTube video, and my pride get in the way of making a good call and avoiding destroying my bike. So what do you think, Mike? What was it like sliding down that thing? Um, I don't know if I was 20 years younger, I might try it maybe, but um, it <laughs> so just about felt young, like- about as young as me then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be 20 years younger than me, so you could, I don't know. It was pretty- You'd be foolish and, and you would talk me into it, but <laughs> that was, I could tell already that once I got over that crust, it was just gonna keep on going. So um, just by the feel of the terrain and the traction I had, um, the gravity was just gonna pull. Yeah, so. and we had the dude on the Honda 500. <laughs> he he kind of cruised past us earlier, and then he he came back up and stopped and talked with us. And yeah, you could see his tracks on the way down were nothing but just skid marks. And yeah. So anyway, we got another what six probably about six miles back to uh, Brigham Canyon. Yep. And uh, hey, a little bit of a couple challenges um, going back that we got to come downhill on. Uh, we have to go uphill and then, um, but we'll do it. Yeah, so whatever. Goes. Our bikes, as of right now, are still intact in one piece. We had a <laughs> hell of an adventure. We learned some stuff. Man, some of these uh, little challenges we came through over here were some pretty skill developing stuff too. So it's not like it was a waste, but yeah, it's all awesome been. ride, man. Yeah, it is a rock. It's freaking killer ride. All right, well, let's see how we can get back before it gets too dark on us. Big boy, keep her moving, keep her moving. <laughs> Sick. When you get to the top, slow up so I can come all the way around this bend. Well, that's a wrap, gang. Uh, there's the big eye up there we cruised up to. That was pretty rad. Sun is just about to set. We got a lot of wildfires in the area. That's looking west, obviously. Michael, our bikes are in one piece. Kick ass, man. Fun afternoon ride for sure. Absolutely. No downage. Nobody went down. <laughs>